so glad that don't nobody pay me to do this show because I am having too much fun and I sort of feel like I'd be stealing. It'd be like stealing, you know? Good morning, everybody. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous. He's wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. God is good. Bop, bop, do bop, bop. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. God is good. Bop, bop, do thou. God is good. God is good. God is good. Bop, do boat, boat. Bow, bow. Hey, y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's the Michael Kyle Morning Show. Get your big butt up. I know y'all checking me out today. I'm just wearing a little, looks like a, a regular white t-shirt. Um, because as you know, this is Work It Out. Work It Out Tuesday. Work It Out, Work It Out, Work It Out. We have Don Strozier who comes on every Tuesday and works out with us. Even people like me, senior citizen, 63, but I don't feel a day over 59. So we only work out for like seven to eight minutes. But when she do, ooh, we, you be feeling it all up in your arms, all in your thighs, everything, everything, everything. Then as soon as I get to doing that, I get to go get me a pastrami. No, that's that's not true. That's, I'm just playing. I just I want one though. I do I do I do want one. Um, so Don Stroger here. So I, I have on my ex shirt, but not an ex, a regular exercise shirt. This shirt was sent to me by my great friend Rosa May. I love me some Rosa May. And let me say something. Maybe I say too much about Rosa May, but I can't say enough about Rosa May because she played a game. And that's what I'm trying to talk all y'all into doing, too. Cynthia Rudd, I know you really miss Arkansas. Now nah, I figured your name out, girl. I, I know that's your government name is Cynthia. But Miss Arkansas, I know you Cynthia Rudd. I don't tell nobody, though, because I know you probably got warrants or something like that. That's why you're trying to keep it keep it low-key. Um, okay, and, and Bonnie Chambers, good morning. You're another one that played the game. I like it. I want you guys to play the game. Be as involved with me as you can, you know, um, I, I, cause I think, I think I want y'all to be like, if you can be friends with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not some distant character. This that's unreachable. I'm a cat sitting in the damn kitchen, uh, with a microphone, uh, pretend I got a show, I got a show, got a show. Uh, so I want y'all to feel like you and your, that's why I come here a lot of time. I have a robe on, you know, something to have a cup of tea. I did the show once, but naked. But wasn't nobody here but me. But it was fun. You know, it was fun. Except the chair was kind of cold. I sat on the chair. Whoa, that was cold. Okay, anyway, uh, so I just love, I love my Rosa May because she's just creative. And she is, like myself, a senior citizen. And everything we doing, she's involved with. I can show you this. I can show you this first. Okay, all right. So she sent me my second Christmas ornament. Can y'all can see the girl? Can see the, the snowman is inside the thing. Wait, hear this. Hear this. <laughs> a lot of people want to give up on Christmas. They don't want to have Thanksgiving. They scared of people. I'm not scared of people. I'm going to love y'all. You got to stay over there, though. You got to stay over there. You can't come to the house. But I'm still going to love y'all. I'm thankful for too much. And so this is really my second ornament because uh, every year I try to beat uh, Kelly. 
to get the first ornament. Like every year we get one new ornament for the tree. So when I was in North Carolina, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Now it's not just clear, but it's got stuff in it. Well, can you see the stuff move around? The stuff, come on, stuff move. The stuff move around it. When that thing is hanging on the tree and it's got little lights hitting it and stuff, ah, she mad too. She mad because I beat her. She ain't, she ain't even close to her. It's Christmas. Time. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. Um, So so I, I got a package uh, from, from Rosa May the other day. And Kelly said, well, you want your package? I always want my package. Okay, so I say, yeah, give me that package, girl. Go and give me that package. And in the package her, was not just my Christmas ornament, but the actual shirt that I'm wearing that her son made this shirt. I don't want y'all to think that me and Rose May doing a little something, a little something, something on the side. We are not doing something, something on the side. I know her husband. You know, he's with the Secret Service. We saw him uh, the other day at our comedy club. He's with the Secret Service. I don't want no trouble. Uh, uh, plus, Kelly will kill everybody. You hear me? But anyway, her son made this shirt. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move the microphone out the way. Move the microphone out the way. Whoa, whoa, to the whoa, whoa. Is that an awesome shirt? And and it's got my hat and everything. And then on the back, it says, whoa, whoa, whoa. It says, get your big butt up. And then it says, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. You know, and at first I thought, hmm, hmm. And you'll be thinking something and you actually say, hmm. I mean, people joke about saying it, but do you actually do it? Um, Monique. Money, do you ever just say, hmm, when you think about something, or that's just something you think about? I wonder what hmm, what about that? Is? Anyway, she had on her Facebook and Instagram. So my first thought was um, that, that's, that this show is not on Instagram. But then when I looked in deeper, I realized she's not just covering this show with this shirt. She's also covering my superstar interviews, which happen every Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Los Angeles time. This Wednesday, I have Tressa Smallwood, who is the producer of our film that drops December 16th. You got that film, the picture that uh, of our movie? Um, Ebony, can you throw that thing up there real quick? Throw that thing on, throw that pow, pow, throw that thing. Boom! There it is. Uh, we're the McCoys, me and AJ, we're the McCoys. The movie's called Holiday Heartbreak, come out December 16th. So I'm thinking that, um, that she is covering... Instagram too, because every six o'clock, every Wednesday, 6 p.m., I'm interviewing somebody. I'm not interviewing just her, which is awesome in itself because she's young and she's flying. It's her eighth movie and she's a producer of books. She produced over 162 books and she's off the chain. Okay. There you go. I'm also interviewing a real true legend. This boy had to be in the business. I've, I've been in the business 30 years. He had to be in 35, 40. This is Mr. Paul Rodriguez, one of the original Latin Kings of Comedy. So actually, Rose May, thank you. She was covering all the platforms that I'm on on this one little old t-shirt. I feel bad that I'm going to exercise in it because it's going to be all funky and sticky when I get through. But I'm just saying. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marbadell and you other folks. Get in the game. Now, get in the game don't mean give me stuff, but yes, they do. Send me stuff. Don't be so stingy. Oh, you're so stingy. Can't stand you. No, I'm just playing. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on a beautiful day. He's beautiful. He's wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God is good. God is good. God is good. Bye, 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 bye. God is good. God is good. God is good. It's the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Get your big butt up. And you can go and have that biscuit today. It's Tuesday, and we're going to work it off anyway. Look, I can't really, I don't usually really get started without my cat, my sidekick, my main man, hype man, one of the funniest guys on television, radio, or anywhere else, man. I, I also, what I discovered over the last couple of months, he's an actor. You know, and so many people come on here who actually know his acting work. They done worked with him. And I mean, so I mean, really layered actor, not this stuff I'm doing while I'm trying to figure shit out. He's done roles that, that's really great and impersonations and everything. And we got it right here. Get your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Mr. Chris Richards. Oh, 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 oh. But my bell. There you are. Woo, woo, woo. How you doing, man? We can't hear you yet. You look loud, though. How <laughs> you playing? You not playing? You know the last time you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at 
the replay, and you can hear me fine. And I was like, what happened? Oh, but my goodness. Time, the mute button was pushed. Good morning. <laughs> well, I tell hey, you, everybody. you look funny. I can't really hear what you're saying, but you look funny. But it's you still can't hear me? You I can't hear none of thing. it. What? Okay, it, didn't, was... it didn't clear up yet. Okay, go out and come back in. Wow. We'll wait for you. Okay, he gonna go out and come back in. Let me say hi to some people real quick with my eyeballs. Oh, there they are. Sometimes I'll be walking around the house looking everywhere for my glasses. And then finally I get so mad, I go to scratch my head and I go, wait a minute. Okay, I think Chris is back. Chris, yes, Chris. Chris. Yes, sorry. Oh, good morning, everybody. <laughs> well, come back in big oh, like you God. usually do. We can hear you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Chris Richard! Woo! 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 Praise hands. Are those what? reindeer antlers? Are those reindeer antlers? <laughs> no, this is the <laughs> prayer head. Praise hands. Like the lily lily lily. I don't know what's going on, but the sound on you is crazy. It is? I don't even know wow. what's going on. And it sounds beautiful in my ears. Wow. Hey, hey uh, Ebony, come in. Hey, y'all, I'm so glad good Ebony morning. back. Look at her. Hey, good morning. So are <laughs> you morning. hearing him do that fluttering thing too or no? No. Um, it's, it's oh, so it sounds clear to you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, that's okay. If I can hear you, okay, I really only need to hear myself anyway. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, boy. So, but you hear crackling and popping. Yeah, I, I, I'm not hearing anything, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I, I, I read lips. Oh, A E I O U and sometimes Y. There you go. You said A O I E U and sometimes Y. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh wait, let's say good morning to some people. Uh, yes. Uh huh. No. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Liam Fisher is here. Hi, no, Liam that's Fisher. Not Liam Fisher. That's the cousin, Liam Parker. Oh, My okay. other game player, who I love so much, I'm not giving all the love to Rosemary. I get to give some up to Nelly Baby. <laughs> Nelly Bebe is at every avenue of my life. The child called me. She puts That's her right, daughter Nelly. on the phone. Love you. They be cooking stuff. Oh, right? Speaking of cooking stuff, I am very excited about the bread I'm making. And I start making my bread today. Okay, so today I'm doing two things to. for Thanksgiving. I'm going to start the bread. You coming in, Ebony? Oh, today? yeah. I'm starting my bread. You going to start on it today? Yes, I'm starting okay. right after this. So I'm going to start my bread today. Huh? <laughs> I'm That's filming it. it. Film a little bit of you actually doing oh, it. Oh, I am. Don't worry. Cause I'm okay. Be okay. <laughs> so I'm filming, doing a preparation for the bread, and I'll be wearing, talk about another person who plays the game, Betty Ubilis. Uh, she sells these beautiful aprons. aprons I will be wearing yeah. an apron today. I'll be cooking my bread, getting it started, <laughs> and I'm doing my collard greens for the Thanksgiving meal. So I like to do the collard greens a couple of days. Collard greens. Things. Yeah, because that way you let them sit and the seasoning sort of really, you know, sitting there. So that Thursday, you can just drink the juice. You can drink the, the what they call it, pot liquor. You can just drink the juice by itself. So I'm going to get started on that too. Wow. Today, so I'm excited. And Betty Ubili off, off the chain. Nelly, baby. And she's so down to earth. Yes. She'll call and say, uh, God damn, I'm sorry I didn't make the show. Had to go to court. <laughs> What? How real hey. are we going to be on here this morning? Well, you, you know. know what I'm <laughs> so I love it. Good morning. Uh, she's here today, Nelly, baby. Esther J. Hey, is Nelly. Sugar oh. Hill. Oh. Uh, Anjanette Fountain. She usually sent a dollar for me when I cuss to help me from putting the money directly from my pocket into the cuss jar. So I might cuss three times. She'll send three dollars. Thank you, Anjanette. I it, it, it would have been. It wouldn't matter if it was 300 or three. It's just as great. I love your $3, girl. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rosemary Smith, have you started your wreath? No, I didn't start my Christmas wreath. I only got as far as the wire. I got the oh, wire. I do have the wire. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is, I'm. oh, yeah, it's, because the thing is, this doesn't have to be presented until the first week of December. Yeah, there we for, go. It's for Christmas. So we got a little time on that. Thank, thank you for asking, young lady. Uh, <laughs> fat Cat. I love Fat Cat. Fat hey, Cat here. <laughs> fat Cat is here. I What's miss up, him. bro? That's what I miss about Instagram. Sometimes people come on like that. I can hit one button, pop them right on. They yeah. don't have to get invited, come in, do all that stuff. Come yeah. I want to have them on. E-Baby. Look at E-Baby. I thought about it. Yes, your acting scene partner, right? Oh, my God. 
He put it down yesterday for me. Let oh, me really? You. Yeah, I got up this morning because I had this flyer for his mama when his mother transcended uh, a couple of oh, months ago. Oh, yeah. And so what I like to do is I burn a candle for people, and I write their name mm -hmm. and a little prayer, and I put it up there. And I had written this one, so I was sitting by my fireplace today. Oh, And I got up, and I said, I want to shout out Mama Jennifer. E-Baby just helped me in the last couple of days because I, I went back to class, as you right. know. Right. Yes, I, I, I was it. And the yeah. sound, I don't know what happened, but the sound is perfect right now. I don't know oh. what the hell. Whatever you did, don't touch nothing. Don't touch nothing. I didn't maybe, do anything. I just maybe yourself. <laughs> you touch yourself, but don't touch nothing now. Don't touch nothing now. Um, and I started class back yesterday uh, at Tasha Smith School. It's not right. Tasha because she's on a feature film right now. So some people working. Yeah. Uh, but there's another girl named Carnetta who stood in for her. And so uh, I was going to go back to class. I hadn't been there in a while. So mm -hmm. then they sent me a script. I didn't know they sent me the script. Right. So the monitor from the class is a really wonderful actress that I want to bring on here named Aries. I was all prepared to cuss her out because she's my friend. Yeah. So she should have called and said, Michael, we sent you a script because anybody who knows me know I don't look at my email. By the time I get to my email, it ain't even news no more. It's history. Okay. So I, by the time I get to it, it's like, then we, we sent you an email in August. And I'm like, <laughs> really? So she just going to send me an email with the, with the, so I didn't have the sides until two days ago. So I'm paying. Oh. I went to my A team. I went right to E. Yes. And we worked these lines out. So let me tell you oh. this. We get to class, Chris, and the way we did it was real different. The teacher, instead of us doing scenes with each other, uh -huh. the teacher had us stand up and do our lines to her while she sat and read as though it was an audition. So everybody was doing their audition. Mm -hmm. And the best out of them was called back. And the callback came from four other people that wasn't part of the class. So Ooh. it was just me standing. Now, I done worked with, with, uh, yes. work with E-Baby. I done worked with him. I, so I know how to go back and forth with Right, it. right. You so know I'm thinking rhythm. she going to give me something. They ain't giving you nothing. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like she's going to give me some emotion. No. I know what to do. She just reading like that. They rob me, read it. They, they Robbie read it. They yes, Robbie exactly. Read it. They Robbie read it with no emotion in it. You better God. find it. You know. You better find it where it is. That's so we end up getting. I get the call back. Then you come back from the call back and you compete with the people who got the call back and did the call back. I'm happy to say I was the winner, sir. Hey! So, Yes, oh, me and this emoji. other young, yes, me and this, wow. emoji, me and this <laughs> other lady who I I've worked with before, who's so wonderful, and I, I'm blanking on her name right now, but um, we both won the came in number one with it. So then, after you booked were the, the team who got the role, who booked the role, they also had the two runner ups. So then ah. everybody sat and watched both of us. But this is the first time we uh, act with each other, so and you were physically there, right? Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Just on this, on the. Oh, site. this is on. Oh, this on the site. Oh, so, yes. so, but so until we got to the final two, who won the, the scene, right? Then we was just us alone, and she's reading to us. So then, once we got booked the role, now it's me and her actually reading with each other. So yes. now she's giving me all the energy and the stuff to be <laughs> in. Dad, you wasn't there, and that yes. died. And I'm like, well, girl, you need to sit down. I'm your daddy. You know, your mama this and. and it at first at the first 10 15 minutes scene I wasn't down with it I was like I don't know who this woman is I don't like yeah. this style I had even text uh to Aries and I said you know I don't think I like this I'm out I'll take the loss and then I sat for about five more minutes and it started yeah. getting good yes. and then the, the challenge oh. was then of course you know when you win you love it <laughs> <laughs> right 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 so right, when right. they said I was that I was the, that I was the one chosen to get the part. That was so good because those other two guys in with me really are actors. You know, uh, I've watched them, I've seen them and stuff. They are actors. So to have competed and being able to want to get the job, that was some cool stuff. So I yes! just want to say thank you, E Baby, for helping. I wanted to call him That's last awesome. night and tell him that you know he put the work in. Man, you gotta have friends in life. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you, you ain't you ain't here alone, you know, at least you don't want to be. You know, and even if you are alone, don't be lonely. Entertain yourself. Remember, you ain't by yourself even if the humans don't talk to you. God mm -hmm. is always in the room. Oh, yeah. You know? That's my man. God's all, he got you. And he, he'll, he'll listen to you. Any mm -hmm. of your shit. That's a dollar. No matter what. Okay, I'm putting a dollar no in the can. On Jeanette, I'm going to need a dollar. <laughs> okay, hey, say hi to some more people there, Chris. Hi, 
some more people. Esther happy. Jazz. What's up, Esther Jazz? Oh, happy belated birthday to Jazzy Jefferson. Jazzy Johnson. Who is that? I, I was on Facebook last night taking care of some stuff, and somebody caught me. And, no, no, no. I was on Instagram taking care of something. Then they caught me. Call your clan. Uh, slid in my DMs, and it was their birthday. So happy birthday, Jazzy. Uh, Jazzy something. Jazzy. Is it Jazzy Jackson? Yes, it's I Jazzy, think it's Jazzy Jackson. Jackson. Happy yeah. birthday, Jazzy Jackson. But they're not here this morning. They must be still a hangover from drinking all last night with Paul. They'll see it because yesterday they was like, and that's what they right. did. They was like, oh, I did not see you uh, at, I mean, uh, uh, live. <laughs> I didn't get it until later on in the afternoon. So anyway, what's mm. up, <laughs> Jazzy Jackson? Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Dear Jazzy. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. 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 Bam, right there. Yeah. <laughs> right, the I moment. wonder how old they are. Did, did they tell you how old? Oh, I didn't get into that. You know, oh, I didn't. Yeah. That's you know, always ladies, good. Women and their ages, we don't want to touch that. Wait, Jazzy's a lady? <laughs> Yeah, right. No, no, well, I don't know. They spelled the J A Z Z Y. Oh. Jazzy, Jazzy probably could be uh, Jazzy could be um, like like ga guys who play saxophones. You're right like because it's Call Jazzy and Jazzy. he plays an instrument. So I, I don't you know. You know, one thing I do notice is African American women don't like to use their real names on social media. Wow, oh my God. they hiding. So, right, they're hiding. There's so many of them that I have met either on Facebook or Instagram, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, yes! And it's like, no, that's not my name. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This honey is too slow. Oh, that's... The show will be over, and I'll still be trying to pour some honey. <laughs> okay, oh, wait, who else? And then I'm going to let you go ahead and bring them comedians and that comedian on, because she's fabulous. Yes, she um, is. I only talked to her for five minutes. I'm knocked out by her already. <laughs> I love me some okay. Body Chambers. Oh, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie Chambers. In oh, the game. The Blessed One. How are you doing, the Blessed One? I haven't seen her for How a minute. How's your daughter as well, right? Angel, right? Yes, uh-huh. Where's yeah. the Blessed One? You see her in there? I haven't uh -huh. seen her. She's right there. Oh, oh, got to tell you this. Got to tell you this. What, what, so, what? I have all the music. I will be listening to it today. I finally have the new album uh, by Moonlight Africa. So he sent me all the music last night. I just haven't had a chance to listen. Wow. I'm gonna listen to it today. Then we're gonna move forward. But man, I love you. If you out there watching, oh. I know you're probably sleeping nice here awesome. right now. But we love you, uh, Moonlight App. Fat Cat, he had to come on sometime because he fill up the screen. I like that. When he's here, I feel like we got a crowd. Um, let me see. Did bless one so true, Chris? So true, she said. Oh, Rosemary Smith was pointing out how Sylvia Traymore Morrison was so good yesterday. You she know, was. You can't, oh. even, you can't even overstate how no. good she was. That's right. That's how right. She was. Oh, my God. Mm. Yes. That's that's a best of piece that I, I may pull that piece and add that, that to, to the real, to the sizzle. Because reel. you know, her whoopee was so good. Your she beginning whoopee wasn't bad there. Go ahead, work it out. Go through. Go ahead. Let me see. <laughs> no, that was good. You know her whoopee. <laughs> I don't even, I haven't worked on it yet. But I, 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 you know what? I'll work on whoopee. I'll Please do, on. because that sounded, that sounded whoopee. -esque. <laughs> yeah. I used to do, it is so funny watching that interview. I used to do that all the time as a kid. Like, I used to just go up and just try different. Like, I used to impersonate most of the wrestlers when WWF was here. And I just dropped all of that. I stopped all of that. You got to bring it back. We'll, we'll come, come yeah. on one day and just do impersonations. And let us know when me and you are putting together the morning show, what we're doing. <laughs> say, okay, I'd like to have a segment for impersonations. Okay. Just, just, right. I know the folks would love to see you do anything because all the stuff you do is funny, funny and wonderful and fabulous. Oh, and thank speaking you. of funder, funny and wonderful and fabulous... Could you go ahead and bring on that goddess of comedy who's oh waiting in the wings? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? This queen is all the way from the East Coast, y'all.
Now listen, this queen comes all the way from New Jersey, y'all. New Jersey. So come on and put some digital love right there in the comments. For the one, the only, as Mike would say, the fabulous Monique Latiz. Woo, woo, woo. I am so excited to be here. Thank you for having Yay. me. Yay. Yes. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm going to jump right on in here. I'm celebrating 10 years of comedy. Give it up for me. 10 years of comedy. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Comedy nice. is rough when it comes to blacks. Blacks are the worst when it comes to comedy. I do a okay. black show. Coming to the stage is comedian Monique Latisse. Blacks will be like, I ain't never seen her nowhere. She never <laughs> been to the comedy jam. I do a white show soon as I hit the stage. Oh my God, is that Oprah? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never understood why white laugh more than blacks, but now I know our dental plan is a little different. <laughs> those molars, those molars, molars are different. They the molars. Different. Yeah, I went to the dentist one time. They wanted to do a root canal for five thousand dollars. I said five thousand for a root canal. I said how much is the pull to? They said fifty. I said well pull two of them. I got a hundred dollar bill. Who do you? <laughs> this pandemic got me thinking about breakups. Who remember? Ladies, I know you out there listening. Ladies, you remember high school breakups? Remember when a guy broke up with you in high school? You were sick. Felt like you had the flu. Uh, Look at a guy who broke up with you in your 20s and 30s. Like, you broke up with me. I got a job, a car. I can buy here if I want to. But let a guy right. break up with you in your 40s and 50s. I'm glad you broke up with me, you old mother. Most of the men that you know, <laughs> You got to give him an insolent shot at night. I almost killed the last guy I was messing with. Put so much salt in his food. <laughs> Telling that age is something else. I just turned 47 years old. Give it up for me. 47 years old. 47. Wow. Nice. You look good. 47 yeah, years old. Black so crack. The right. only thing changed about me being 47 is my bowels. Irritable bowel syndrome, a.k.a. Mm. bubble guts. Oh. Remember when you were 25? It's something to let you know, get to it taller when you're 25. Mm. When you're 25 and up, you get two bloops. That first bloop, the devil is the liar. That second bloop, <laughs> you I'm telling you, your stomach changed when you get a certain age. I had some butter pecan ice cream the other day. That thing sent me to you. They had IVs on me. I was sitting there. I didn't know what was wrong with me. Felt like I had the corona. <laughs> oh. I'm I, chain. I remember I was at a guy house one time back in the day. He was looking so good. I had gas so know. bad. I was holding my gas and I could not wait to leave. But as soon as I got out of my car, I sound like Dougie Fresh up in there. I was like, oh. I'm <laughs> Look, I'm 47. I have no business in this turtleneck. This is how much I love the show. I said, I'm <laughs> I'm 47 years old, honey, and I gotta be quiet. My son just came home from prison. My son did six years in prison, and it's a oh, big God is good, though. Yes, I remember the first time I went to the prison to see my son. I got mm -hmm. to the metal detectors. Do, 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 do. You gotta take the underwire out your bra. I said, huh? You gotta take the underwire out your bra. I said, have you seen my titties? <laughs> 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 I walked into the day room. I never seen so many attractive young men in my life. My <laughs> sons, uncles, brothers, all smelling like bean pies and assalamu alaikums. <laughs> <laughs> he home. But I'm still going to be at the prison every single week, and those guys are looking good. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a big adjustment with, with, you know, me and my son being home together now. You know, for yeah. some reason, at 6 o'clock every night, he yells out, right, y'all? I'm like, nigga, you ain't in jail no more. <laughs> <laughs> every morning, every, every morning, he got me doing pumps and chin -ups. I'm daggone there 300 pounds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a big adjustment, but I just want to say we got to love our children. I did not know my son was special. I had no idea. A guy came to my house one night, looked at my son and said, you get a check for him, don't you? I didn't know. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They wanted to send that little bus to come pick him up in front of my house, but I said, y'all, I'm not going to put that helmet on my baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not going 
my girl. She was 11 years old, office job, faxing papers. My son ain't get potty trained and he was 12. We uh. do. <laughs> we do our girls. <laughs> yeah. My name is Monique Lattice out of Patterson, New Jersey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really quick, I just want to say this. Um, six weeks before the pandemic, I opened up the first black comedy club in New Jersey, mm-hmm. owned by a female comedian. Six mm-hmm. weeks awesome. Down. Congratulations, Congratulations for opening, though. To keep my comedy alive, I'm trying to keep my club alive because I wanted a place where we can come and, and laugh. And, and there's people that look like me, you, and Chris yes, and Mike. Yes. And uh, keep me in prayer. Everyone that's watching, keep Monique's Comedy Club in Jersey in prayer. The first black comedy club owned by a female comedian. I love it. I love it. Yes. What's your What's your social media so we can follow you? Yes, please. You can follow me, uh, Monique Latisse, on Instagram, M O N I Q U E L A T I S E. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Twitter. I am all over the place. I'm funny. I'm hilarious. And most importantly, I love God and I will always honor Him. Thank you. Ain't got, ain't got Thank you. Man. Well, don't God. run off. Don't run off. I want to talk to you for a second. So okay. I love the thing you said about IBS, the irritable bowel syndrome. You know, when I X. think about that, I think about how in our society, the, the people who run the world really are the pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. And what, a lot yeah. of times they will create the medicine before they tell you you got some stuff. You know, right. like IBS, oh, yes. Yes. bowel syndrome. That's something they made up. That's really itchy booty syndrome. That's all itchy booty. Usually, I just scratch my ass. I don't need a pill, but they tell you it's IBS. Now you got the back. That's another guy. That now you have to buy it. So I love it when you talked about that. I just want to know: Do women have the wake up pee? Because every yes. morning at the same time, three yes. four, I just got to walk in that. Bed. Listen, I don't need no alarm clock. My 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 urine wakes me up. I only know alarm clock. I wake up every the, morning at the same time. The, the, the bladder alarm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you're funny and you're beautiful, yeah. and thank, thank you for you. blessing us. And good luck on your club. We're gonna all come back soon. It's gonna come back. We're gonna be in club, and they're gonna fill your room. I want to come and play your room. God bless you, and thank you. Woo, 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 woo. Tell them again thank where you. we find you. One more time, where do we find you? Monique's uh, Monique's Comedy Club. You can find me I'm at Monique Latisse on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm a TikTok queen. I'm a savage. Mm. Oh, hey. I want to learn. I haven't hey. figured out how to get it down. You get ah, you get numbers. Yes. Do you get I'm numbers? A- you get you getting good numbers. People are following you. You Let get me good numbers. And yes, my TikTok is popping. You hear me? Really? Let me, tell you, let me tell you a quick story. Let me tell you a quick story. Um, Betty Wright. I did a TikTok video. I'm singing okay. to Betty Wright, no pain, no pain during the during the pandemic. Okay. I, yes. I lip sunk it to a T. Do you know she retweeted, she she reposted it on Instagram. It got over a oh. uh, hundred and something thousand views. Wow. The next day, I didn't know the next day they were showing her unsung. A month oh. later, she passed away. A month Whoa. later, she passed away. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I was able to honor that legend before she passed away. I had no idea that they were doing an unsung. I had no idea that she would pass away, of course. And, right, you know, right, right. The, the pandemic, it hurt a lot of us, but so much creativity came from the pandemic. Yes. So you got to keep it pushing. Well, you yes. know we love you, Monique, because Thank your you. three-minute you spot guys. turned into a 10-minute spot, so get out of here. <laughs> we love you. See you later, ladies and gentlemen. Monique. Yes. Let's see. What's your last name, girl? Yes. Uh, Latisse. You know what? Monique Latisse. Monique Latisse. I'm sorry. Yes. Monique, our catchphrase here is, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you do that for us, please, before whoa, we let you go? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, you know, you made that sexy with your little pink microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, Monique Lachie. Yes! Love you, sis. Wow. Good, good, good. And that was very excellent. That was, that very was awesome. That's very good. Oh, my gosh. So far, I owe $3 to the cash jar. And uh, I still keep going to my cash app, and I... I haven't seen that $10. Uh, I know. Listen. Okay. Apparently, I have run out of my savings, and I didn't know that I was that close to running out. So I, I, won't, go. I won't mention it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I got to go and get it from another account, pushing another one. I have to do it today while I go get some yeast. Some yeast? <laughs> yeah. Because I can't find a microwave bread recipe that doesn't have yeast in it. <laughs> 
Yeah, because I can't do nothing that I have to put yeast in. I'm I'm I'm, you know, I'm using a recipe that my bread probably flat as hell. I'm not getting no yeast, and and I that's too that's too complicated. See, and this, I, I can't. This contest is not a, a gourmet contest. It's a fun contest. This bread <laughs> will end up however the hell this bread end up. I'm no, sorry. No, it's not. You can buy active yeast anywhere. What about what about inactive yeast? <laughs> what about the yeast that just lays there, Ebony? What about that? That would be my ex. <laughs> yeah, that would be. I even call her A Y. Uh, inactive or active yeast? Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I, I, well, I messed that up completely. Hey, okay. Uh, well, look, you guys, I know. I can, I can tell I'm going to win this bread contest. So it's already. No, you're done. not. No, wait a minute. No, Just, you're not. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a I minute. told you hold I'm on. making artesian bread, not artisan bread. <laughs> I'm making artesian, artesian bread. <laughs> That can bring oh. little holes in it. You know how the bread looks like it's got little craters and holes yes. in it? <laughs> oh, That's what I'm making. Bread you can oh, touch things. Bread. <laughs> it does not. I can go get a slice right now. No, it does not. That's manufactured bread. Yeah, that's fake. Bread. Oh, that's the kind you don't work. So you saying you saying that all fresh made bread when you slice it, it got the little crevices? Right, it, it should. That it breathes. It's because the dough yeah. is breathing. I don't want no bread breathing in my house now. <laughs> I'm a I'm a very scary fella, and but I don't want to be that... walking past the refrigerator and I hear. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but isn't that why you have to knead it? You yeah, know what I mean? Because you, you have to. I don't really it. need it. I need crackers. <laughs> no. Oh, you mean you need it? Yeah, to take all the air yeah, out. It's a good eight, ten minutes. Need. Yeah. How come it look like you massaging the bread, Right. You do. You gotta is massage. that black girl needing? <laughs> oh, your bread is probably so happy <laughs> and certainly relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> but it, oh my what, God. what we so going? What we doing, moonlight. y'all? We just Can we going. Play moonlight. Can we play moonlight? Well, you know, the, the thing song. is, the I want to play the theme song, but this is our act up day. <laughs> it is. It's, a, it's a technical act up day. Like I, I tried to hit it a couple of times over here uh, and it won't go. You know, I keep trying to. Yeah, we, we would love to. Wait. Hear you. Oh, is this one of his songs? This one is new song, so I ain't really supposed to be playing it. Right. Because I haven't heard it yet. We really don't have the rights to this music. Oh, I do. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm producing this with it. Oh! Good. Oh, nice. Damn! That is good. Yeah. Connected to iPad 3. There we go. Seven tracks, y'all. I'm gonna be listening wow, to these today. We will be talking to White Clef back tomorrow, baby. I love Moonlight yes. Africa. That's right, Miss Arkansas. You ain't fooling us with that Cynthia Rudd name. We know your government <laughs> name. Good morning, everybody. It's Mike Kai Morning Show. We off to yes. a good start. Now, did I guess anybody guess show up this morning? Nobody <laughs> yeah. needed, Dawn, nobody is, needed. Dawn is coming a little later on. In Dawn the is hour. here. Mm -hmm. She's no, coming. she's coming a little later in the hour. Yeah. We're going to be working out. So we can pray. You said Dawn is here, though? Yes, affirmation. Well, why? I thought you said she was late. I thought, she, I thought she wasn't going to make it. No, we're going to be working out. Oh, God. Gonna, 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 okay, well, Dawn is here, so out. we will be working out today. All of a sudden, the sound went off on this thing. Um, <laughs> no. I, <laughs> I'm, just play, I'm just playing. No, I'm looking forward to working out because I got on my shirt. 
So yes. I'm going to get this shirt out, put some funk on this baby right here. You know, that was so good. That music That's was so really good. good. That whole album, it makes me want to lift my feet, how they do that African dance. Bah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you felt like, oh. You, yeah, but the, oh. they can get them African wings. Oh, the yeah. World. Come on with it now. You know, they don't play over across the pond, you know? Lynn Parker, <laughs> Lynn Parker said that was, hey, I don't know Lynn if they call Parker. it across the pond. Africa. I think across the pond they're talking about England. They're talking about Europe. Oh, that pond. Well, listen, we got to go across the He's same pond Africa. to get there. It's a different pond. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a the, bigger it's pond. It's the other way. Yeah, you got to go the other way. Well, you can go to that first pond, but you have to make a hard left. Uh, really? You get all the way back around Africa. Oh, I thought you'd yeah. go across the pond and make a hard right down south. Well, that's depending on what you're riding. Because, <laughs> like, if you put it in fourth gear, Straight through. Oh, okay. Hey, Angie Hartnett Wright. I want to also shout her out because she's here in the game every day. She plays, she listens, she she uh she contributes. So I just want to say woo woo woo, Angie. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> What's up, Angie? Wait, there's another lady on here with a guy's name. What I thought was a guy. What is that person's name? And I'm always asking, is that a, oh, that's a lady? Tashiki Pennington. No, that's a lady's name. No, that's a lady's name. But there's a uh oh, what happened? And it's a uh, Okay, it's not wild hair. Uh, Hi, Patricia Williams. I think I know you. Is it, are you talking about Art Bishop? Art Bishop. Art Bishop. That wonderful I lady. That, that Art Bishop is the is the lady. A lovely so, lady. So what is that art short for? Is it Artesia? Is it? It's okay, not right artisan there. or Artesia. I'm sure. <laughs> She's Artisha is a beautiful name for a lady. No, but that's um, also the brand we've been talking about. I don't think it's artesian. Art Bishop Crazy Guy. Art Bishop. Art she say Bishop, Art Bishop Crazy Guy. Oh well, thank you. What <laughs> tell us what art means? What is your what's your whole name? Give your, we need we you, need your government name. I'm telling you, a lot of the ladies aren't just period in the world. They don't like to put their real names up. I'm learning that. Like I, I just think they had. <laughs> they had they had some. They Half of these some. names are not real. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, I love you and I do appreciate you. Chris, take a minute with the people. I got to heat my tea up. All right, I'll take a minute. Good morning, everybody. So, uh, Bonnie Chambers, Chris, don't forget to wrap. Oh, listen, I know. Bonnie told me that I should wrap my stomach and put, um, uh, what did you say? Wrap it and put um, the stuff on it, the stuff that you put on. To help you when you're not feeling good, uh, mentholatum. Put that on your stomach with some saran wrap, and it helps it go down. So yeah, I I'm gonna do it over the holiday because you know I got four days off coming up. So I'm about to take that time and do some self things. You know, work out a little bit, do a little bit of uh, relaxation, and really jump in because. I have four days to do absolutely nothing. Hey, Angela Hayden, thank you, Chris. <laughs> You're very welcome, Angela Hayden. I totally understand. Totally understand. Oh, you know what, you guys? There's some of y'all that have been subscribing to Michael's channel. And I just want to say thank you so much and tell you who you are or tell everybody else who you are. Thank you so much, Eric Ross is a new member subscribing to uh, Michael's channel here on YouTube. Um, okay, M Mikhail by Chell B. <laughs> oh, it's my own writing. Makeup <laughs> by Chell B. Hey, Michael, I'm telling uh, some of the subscribers that have subscribed. Michael MJ Falato has just subscribed to your channel. Oh, nice. Comic One. Uh, Tanya Boy, Chillin' Dylan, the official 1615. Has Wait, Chillin' Dylan? Chillin' Dylan, you know who that is? He's my cigar friend. We smoke really? cigars together out here in, out here in the Antelope Valley. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, my, he just he subscribed. He lived with his mama, and I love grown men that live with their mama. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, he just subscribed to your channel, to your YouTube channel. Wow. Um, Thomas Hughes, Derek Meeks. Thank you so much, Derek. Is that uh, Thomas Hughes or Thomas Hughes? No, 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 Hughes. Okay, all right, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, Hughes. Derek Meeks, Martel Humphrey, thank you so much. Thank and you, Martel. Marcus Barner, number one. Thank you very Marcus much. Marcus Barner, number one. Yes, and you Ready can be not that number, number two. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying, sir? I was just telling everybody, if you want to be in that number, you can subscribe, too. All you got to do is 
ting tong, the big red button right below my face. Subscribe to it, and then you'll even get messages if you hit that bell. Every morning when we come on the air, you'll get a, a reminder that we're on and waiting for you, okay? I'm so subscribe, eliminating subscribe. one of the contests. Uh, Which one? One of the games where you can win the chicken. I am eliminating <laughs> the chicken, okay? Oh, wow. Because because I like to play with the chicken too much. Right. And if I can only hit it so the people know it's time to win something, yes. I can't play with it. And the chicken's been feeling left out. <laughs> <laughs> so now when you hit a chicken, don't come calling for no prize. Yes. Ain't no prize. The chicken said the prize is you get to meet him. <laughs> Oh, where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh. Anyway, wow. yesterday we had liquor store hat, and I didn't even have my liquor store hat on. I felt real bad about it later. Oh. Thank God that uh, Rosa May sent in 976 pictures. <laughs> and I wanted to keep doing what she's doing because every week she seemed to find a different one. That's some fly stuff. Anybody else put on a different one every day? Who's calling? Bonnie Chambers, why is she? She heard the chicken. I just told. <laughs> Bonnie Bye. Chambers, the chicken is no longer a winning vehicle. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, she said, oh, man. <laughs> okay, I gotta oh, go my back. God. Bye. I got to go back to work. Oh, my God. So, wow. yes, yeah, so when you hit a chicken, Love that don't mean you body. win nothing no more. That don't mean you win nothing when you hit chicken. We got other ways to win things. Yes, I have been things we need to give away, but I'm not giving nothing else away till it's tomorrow Wednesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, yes. yes Holy yes. camoly. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Okay, y'all, tomorrow it. is a big, big day for us. Because after tomorrow, we're gone for four days, okay? Because we're not here Thanksgiving, the Friday after, and we don't do Saturday and Sundays anymore, so we're not back again until Monday. So between now and tomorrow, we got to get all our joy in. <laughs> That's why today I'll be starting my cooking. My yes. cooking will be ready tomorrow. I can talk to y'all about the greens and the bread. Uh, 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 um. Tomorrow is uh I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. I love my job. Yeah, so you, we're you, gonna you, get us. You're gonna definitely gonna win on that. We're doing catch up a couple of people. We still owe things we didn't send to them yet, but we have you on the list. Some people won shoes. I talked to the shoe man three days ago. He's calling, getting your information so he can send them shoes to you. Look like somebody was trying to come in. Who is that? Damn it, it's Dawn. <laughs> okay, um <laughs> Dawn is our workout fitness queen. Hi. And she is here, so this is a good time to do prayer. Uh, I'm a, we're we're going to get Dawn, and about two things going to happen before you, dear heart. I'm going to throw the prayer in, and then we're going to go right to Kelly's Rocks. And then once Kelly get through rocking, we're going to go and build it up and make it firm. And for make any these rocks. Pow. Yeah, that's it. I see them guns over there. <laughs> Let's see the whole gun. Don't hide the gun with oh. all that cloth. Just pull out. Oh, oh. Yo. oh. look at Man, you be really lifting good. that fork, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. every day. <laughs> <laughs> Milan, Yvette, good morning. Good morning, Donna Domily. Uh, If y'all want to work out with us, go put on your clothes, your, your healthy clothes, your exercise clothes, and then we're going we gonna to do that after I do uh, the, uh, no, after the prayer, then Kelly's Kelly got the rocks. rocks, and then we're going to do the exercise. We had yeah. a woman before that a great voice was going to come on and sing, but we didn't get her today, but we're going to keep going after her because I heard her voice, and it's good. Angie Fisher, and I think that's the, I think we talked about that earlier. She's the one in, in the newspaper, cut a man's dingling. Remember, <laughs> no, no. remember she cut she cut off the dingling? No, no, that's uh that's another oh uh, and she was in the news recently Amy, too. Amy, Amy, Amy Fisher. Oh, Amy Fisher. There you go. Oh, how you how come you know about the women cutting off dingling stories? How are you, you why are you 40. so best Amy Fisher? <laughs> she Amy cut Fisher. off a man's her man's fooling around and she got tired of him. He went to sleep, chopped it. Oh, I got a joke. I got a joke. I got a joke. Oh, okay. Lord. So this guy is walking down the street, right, coming home from mm -hmm. work. He decided to take a shortcut through the alley. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if you have you ever seen one of them apartments that's down in the basement. So when you walk walking past, you can look down the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he walked through, and it, just as he got towards this window, he saw the light come on. So he, he you know, nosy, curious. He peeked in, and he saw this woman tear her clothes off, run over to the other side where there was a dingling, a fake dingling sticking out the wall. Jumped up on the wall, started making love to herself. He said, oh, my God. You know, 
He right. enjoyed it. So <laughs> next day he come back again and set his watch. He waited. Light came on just like yeah. that. Lady came in. She tore clothes off, ran over to the wall, jumped up, did it to herself. You know, he was, oh, man, he was digging it. He come back the next day. He said, Figure, I want some of that. That's what he said. I want some of that. That was good. Oh, so have you ever seen one of them hand drills where you, you hold it and you do the drill, you drill it yeah. to the wall like that? Yeah. So he got one of them hand drills and he positioned it right where the fake dingling was. Yes. And he took that hand drill and drilled a hole and uh -huh. pulled the fake one out and stuck his in. And he was waiting. And the woman came in. Instead of tearing the clothes off, she went up to, to the sink. She picked up a knife. She came over. She grabbed the dingling, cut it off and said, come on, dingling, we moving. Oh! <laughs> it is a terrible joke, but it, I used to tell that when I was a kid, and you made oh it come God. back. Just <laughs> now. it's funny wow. when you say it, Daddy. Come on, Dingling, we moving. Okay, <laughs> be careful what you do. Okay, I remember. Oh, Lorena Bobbitt. Look, that's who it was, Lorena. Lorena Bobbitt. Bobbitt. Thank Amy you, E Baby. Fisher is a gospel singer, I think. Like, I don't Girl think. Who rang them. I thought the that there the was another one. Okay, maybe. Oh, no. wait, wait. I know who Amy Fisher. Kelly just told me who Amy Fisher. Ooh. She was the one who ran the prostitute ring in Beverly Hills. Oh. She was the Beverly Hills madam. Mm. But I knew it had something to do with a ding -a -ling, so yes. it wasn't that far <laughs> off. You have to connect the dots. It's six degrees of separation. Right. Okay. That's all he said. And with all that ding -a -ling talk out the way, let's get to prayer. <laughs> let's get to prayer. Okay. Um, all right. First of all, folks, let me get you. Um, I want. I got to do this. I've read this one several times. I read it to someone yesterday, and I could really. Oh. To Aaron, I have a friend named Aaron Goddess Peace. That's her name, Aaron Goddess Peace. And she is a powerful prayer warrior, you know? And I wanna know when we bring in Mixon Dixon on. Uh, Ebony? Ebony? Uh, yes. When I are do. we bringing Mixon Dixon? I still need Dixon? to get her information, but not till the week of. Um... My girl Mixon Dixon, be, man, she be putting some Prayers. prayers up this Prayers. off the chain. Yeah. We're gonna bring her on one day to pray. Yeah, by the. Um, did we put? Did we give her a date yet? No, not yet. But okay, we're, we're going to Kimberly. If you can send um, your information, to, is Kimberly on today? I don't know. She, she might be babysitting the kids. But the Michael Carter Morning Show at Gmail dot com. Please send information there. Oh yeah, I don't see Miss Mixon Dixon, but. Uh, I'll, when I'll get, when she, I'll get a hold of you her. get okay, we want her to come on and step your prayer. Her prayers are a lot of people send wonderful prayers to me, you know. I mean, they'll just they'll, they'll go on and they'll just text a prayer. Good morning, team. Please post this clip on all social media platforms today. Thank you. Wait a minute, what is that clip she just threw up? That's that's my my partner, partner, that's my production partner, and everything we do. That's Malika. Uh, she said. Oh my goodness. Okay, you could be a winner too. Wait a minute, we got a new clip. I'm sending this over to you right now. Um I have it. E Ebony. I have it. I she have sent it. it to you? Yeah, I have it. You got it? Okay, all right. Yeah, she's so I'm thorough. Isn't I'm I'm yeah, she I'm thorough? A, I know. And I'm she's just so dragging. I'm, but I guarantee you, we still gonna get out of here on time this morning. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let me do. I read this. I read this. Uh, I was talking to my friend Aaron, Goddess Peace, who's gonna come on in a few weeks and, and do a prayer with us. And I, I just love this so much. That I read to her too, and I, I get meaning out of it. More meaning every time I see it. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams, okay? If, if in confidence, you keep moving towards your dream and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined. You know, because I think imagination is more important than intellect. If you've got an imagination, if you can believe in a particular thing and keep working towards that, it'll work towards you, okay? If, if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected. He will put some things behind, will pass an invisible boundary. New universal and more liberal laws will begin to establish themselves around and within him. Or the old laws will be expanded and interpreted in his favor in a more liberal sense. And he will live with the license of a higher order of being. Wow. 
So, I mean, what it's saying is, I mean, there's many different ways to say the same thing it is saying. Follow your dreams. Believe in yourself and believe in your dreams. Do what you feel in your heart you have to do. Your heart is screaming. You got to do this. So you out there thinking one day you're going to be an actor. Quit waiting for one day and go and get to actor. You know, uh, I'm on one young lady's case who should be writing a book. She told me she's going to do the 15 minute a day rule. And in 30 days, she's going to have part of it. I keep writing in and checking on her and she keep going, ah, oh, you're right. Michael, I'm embarrassed to say something, but nah, I haven't done it yet. I ain't going to say her name. Some of us know her. Quit putting it off. What if you keep putting it off and then you up and die? We, people disappearing nowadays without even knowing it. People getting COVID out the blue. People walking down the street, minding their own business. The bus drive up on the curb and hit them. You ain't guaranteed 15 minutes from now, let alone tomorrow. So you better live today for today. If you have a dream, believe in that dream and follow that dream. If you don't have a dream, get one. Because that dream is waiting for the, the universe is calling your name. Let's get to going. Okay, let's get to the prayer today. Uh, today's prayer, uh, we're going to start with our holy breath. Inhaling through our nostrils. And we're going to hold it. Come on now. Hold it. One positive thought. Now exhale slowly from your mouth. That should come and send to you. Good morning, God. I'm going to start with thank you. Just thank you, God. Thank you for Moonlight Africa, my friend who is a prodigy. I think he is a musical genius, and, and I send special prayers out to him to keep lifting him up. We're going to get this Grammy Award. He's going to do all the work, but I'm going to share the credit. Lift him up, Lord. Lift him up. Father God, thank you. Thank you for friends. Thank you for the, the folks who come on this show all the time and watch us. And not just the folks who actually get in the game, even the four years. The ones who's outside the game peeking in. What they doing? What they doing in there? They are all valued. You are all valuable to me. I love all of y'all. So thank you, Father God. Please bless them and bless them with perfect health. Bless their families with perfect perfect health. Father God, I just start this morning by saying thank you for so much. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my queen. Thank you for my home. Thank you for these opportunities. Thank you for courage and energy. Thank you for giving us another chance to just smell the air, even though it's kind of chunky sometimes. It's still, it's smellable. Uh, I did my show two weeks ago in North Carolina, and a guy who's on the show with us, the feature, uh, is the reason I now have to go get a COVID test because the next day he called in and said, I can't smell anything. I can't taste anything. We take these little things for granted because these little things are really huge. We take it for granted. Imagine if you can't smell anything. Malika can't. She'd be like, oh, I can't smell that. I'm like, this smells delicious. I can't smell it. Thank you, Father God, for the little things, for the smell, for the taste, for the vision. Thank you for another day. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our perfect health. Oh, Father God, I pray that you bless me today and bless me indeed. I pray you enlarge my territory greatly. I pray that your hand will be with me, guide me past evil, and I will cause no pain. I pray that you continue to be the wind beneath my wing, and you send me soaring towards my dream, and that I embrace it and dance with it in a magical way. Special blessings to anyone who is dealing with not just the COVID virus, but any ailment that is bringing you down. Uh, special, special, special blessings to Sinbad, our great friend. Uh, he is amazing. And he is going through a stroke, and we just want to lift him up. Burn candles for him today, y'all, as we pray for him. Um, and finally, Father God, just... Just help us make this day be super califragilisticexpialidocious. We know it's going to be all good because it's all God. We love you, God. We love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, God. And we just want you to keep on loving us. Keep on being with us, in us, as us, around us. Keep the joy and the energy going. And thank you, Father God, for bringing Ebony back because the system kicked her off and she back in here again giggling and stuff. Thank you for bringing her back to us. She was very ill, but through your power, Father God, and the power of prayer from so many of us who reached out and lifted her, she back strong and giggling and saying silly stuff and messing up the buttons. So, Father God, thank you for everything. We love you. Amen. Amen. I mean, I say, boom, chakalaka. And in the famous words of all of those who call ourselves the Kalia clan, Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. I hope you heard that. I wouldn't even well, 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 hope Jesus wouldn't take a nap today. You know, sometimes you get your prayer in, you'd be like, I hope he didn't sleep on that one. This hat <laughs> looks good. I don't know how I'm getting away with calling this a liquor store hat. 
but it really is. It's just a raggedy old hat. Look, I don't even know. Can you see the stains? It's got big old look at look how big the stains. I can smell hat. the stains. It's time yes. to change the oil. <laughs> it's time to change the oil in this hat. You know. Those. All right. So now uh I think it's time for Kelly Rocks. Yes. And then we gonna rock on that exercise floor. Well, I'm putting my eight minutes here. I'm pulling <laughs> up. I'm gonna right. get in front. I see them big old guns you working with over there, Chris. Uh, you ain't fooling right. nobody. We know you secretly <laughs> in the gym. Just like that secret Santa, yeah. your secret workout. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. Uh, these stones that this young lady talks about has magical power. A lot of people don't believe in magic. I do. I call it love. I call it God. I call it faith. Uh, I call it spirit. I call it the power of friendship. I'm going to sit up on the side for about three, four minutes and have some tea while Kelly rocks. <laughs> Rocking. Wait, hold on. Can you stop for a second? Stand up. I need you to see this outfit. This is my favorite outfit. Stand up, Mom. That's a reindeer outfit. Look at the reindeer. I love it. All right, all right. Get comfy. It's cushy too. It's soft. It's soft and cushy. Take your time. Put those on. Your time don't start till you in your seat. All right. You want to turn that light down a little bit? Don't say it like that, but I will. I got it. Boom. There you go. All right. It's kind of like Good morning. Grand Rising, everyone. I was so knocked out. Michael gave me the best massage ever, ever, ever last night. And I really forgot that today is today. So welcome to Kelly Rocks. Um, today we're going to talk about, and I may have shown this stone before. For early on, but I'm not too sure. Um, twice. <laughs> uh, it's called orange calcite. And so I wanted to bring orange calcite to the table today. Um, it's just gorgeous. Let me move it this way. This is orange calcite in its raw form. And this is raw calcite in its polished form. And it is just beautiful. Does it remind you of the ice cream back in the day? The uh, creamsicle ice cream? Yes, that's what it reminds me of. Thank you. I love my reindeer uh, pajamas. Um, uh, orange calcite is really good. Uh, when you see this color, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind for me is that it is just calming a sense of bringing one love peace and light everyone it brings a sense of calm it's really good um orange calcite is um really great i thought i'd bring it to the table because i know a lot of people are suffering from depression um in these times people who typically do not suffer from depression people out here are feeling some kind of way. A lot of people are um, angry. A lot of people are sad. Um, somebody said they thought of shea butter. Yeah, it does. Thank you, Angel. Um, it's really, really great for people who have had past traumas that are holding you back, which will also bring about depression. So even if you have something like a spear or something like this, it's really great for um, meditating um, a lot of people can get really great, beautiful vibrations from this. And you don't necessarily have to be depressed just to either love it or work with it if you're learning to work. Yeah, lots of people are. Lots of people are um, depressed. Um, it's, it's great for... Um, um, it's, it's great for... Um, the root chakra and the sacral chakra. So those are your grounding energies. So this is what helps us get on the more grounded side. Um, and today I found, um, I don't even remember what site it is, but uh, there are also affirmations that you can use along 
with the crystals, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, the website is he called healingcrystals.com. Healingcrystals.com. And that's a really good way. Um, if there's some things you want to learn about, I recommend um, any of the books by Judy Hall if you want to further learn about crystals. Um, but this one had a really beautiful, I want to say that it had an affirmation to it. Hopefully I can find it. Almost. Uh, the affirmation for this is also great for creativity, by the way. Your oranges and reds are really great for breaking up that creativity or if you're... Um, if you are, um, and laziness. So um, the oh. affirmation for this stone is, fill, is, it says, I am filled with creative and constructive energy. I am filled with creative and constructive energy. So this is a really good, um, yes. And this is a really good stone for that. So uh, for the affirmation. So if you want to, um, possibly purchase uh, some orange calcite or just talk crystals. You can DM me at the Earth Girl Essentials is how you find me on Instagram and Facebook. The Earth Girl Essentials. Have a beautiful, beautiful holiday, everyone. Peace and light. Love you all. Yeah, thank you, baby. Peace and light. I love the orange creamsicle. Um... <laughs> The cream sickle, sickle stone is my favorite. Um, baby, I want you to come on here one day and just explain. Oh, oh, oh. What? Ooh, 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 what, baby? Orange oh, spice. baby, come on now. We're in the middle of the show. You talking about ooh, 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 because you stepped on something. Oh, Lord. Oh, help me, Jesus. Oh, that's so painful. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Calcite. Uh, one day I, I need you to come on here and tell people what chakras actually are. To explain all oh, dude, seven of the chakras and what they mean and what they are. I love the dream sickle stone. I like a dream sickle. I love dream sickle. See, when I'm Orange depressed, crush. I don't want the stone. I want a dream sickle. That's right. I want to get butt naked <laughs> with a dream sickle and watch a black and white movie. That what? eliminates my depression right away. <laughs> that was Kelly, Miss Kelly McCann, my heart, my love. My sweet, my sugar, uh, my uwachiku, and she did get a nice massage last night. She ain't tell you about the rest of it. I ain't <laughs> thinking about you, Chris. You and your damn watermelon. Okay. Anyway, uh, give it up. That was Miss Kelly and yes, Kelly, Kelly Rocks. Hey, uh, Ebony, are we able to run that video, that little tape she just sent just now? That uh, let's run that right now. I don't even know what to do. Ooh. This is my first time seeing this too. You know, so this is we we in for a surprise. It better not be nothing but naked. Did you take this photo? No, not at all. Uh did you um uh uh Malika do not be sending butt naked family pictures? <laughs> I'm just telling you that. Trying to fool people. She is gonna give it to Love us. You, going <laughs> Put that up as soon as you can. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I love my job. My job. I'm in the magical hat. We pull the name and you gonna win all that. The full Michael Kaya love package. Uh, you're going to win cash money. Ain't going to be a lot. Cash money and the artwork uh, by Angela Hem. Also oh, going to throw on yes. some of the wonderful incense, some of the oils. Yes. yes. Angel. It's Angel. I keep saying Angela, but it's Angel. 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 And a coupon is, for watermelon. It's <laughs> Angela without the G. Yeah, and a coupon for watermelon. You are still eating watermelon. I'm sorry, it's that now. Okay. I just need you to turn away before I do it. You Good morning, right. Kelly. Uh -uh, she always look right into the bowl. You got to, <laughs> uh -uh, you got to close your eyes and turn your back. You can't be looking in because that's a She's not let look. Rosa may win. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, she yes, said watermelon hates the ding a ling, do the real swing. And he said, I'm going to get some. We better get you. Amen. Oh! Oh, in the morning is good your digestive tract right away. You hear him jump up and down screaming because he heard you say you got yeah, to get you some. <laughs> okay, do I have just one? Wait. Is that just one? Yes, that's just one. Thank you. We will not need any more help from you today. <laughs> we Thank got, you. We gotta get you some. I don't know 
why Malika had us play that. I, I'm tired of you and her. And I went and got watermelon. It wasn't even sweet. But but I did get that massage in last night. Why is my phone ringing like that? Oh, honey. Somebody can wants you to grab the phone? The problem Malika saying something crazy after she said this silly. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, anyway, y'all can win. And that's what we do on Wednesday. It's over now. On Wednesday, um, yes. we have uh, uh, I, love I, love job, I Love My Job, I Love My Job. And so if you do what she just did, you just saw that. Yes. Uh, Kelly's going to come and pull in your number out of the hat. So you got to send in your name, yeah. your phone number, and your job title. We pull the name, big package. Of course, we're doing that tomorrow. Lori, the fabulous, oh, the wonderful Lori Williams. Williams. We'll be on singing live Ooh, tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow's show is crazy. It's two hours, crazy. seven comedians. Um, yes. It's going to be so much fun. And I want everybody to concentrate on this one thought for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll be asking you to tell us one thing you're truly, truly thankful for. And don't be generic mm. about it. I don't need 80 people to say but I'm grateful for my God. family. God. I'm grateful for God. <laughs> right. We are all grateful for God. That's why we come to this show. This show is about comedy and prayer. We up in here because we believe in God. These are the believers that That's come right. to these show, this show. So we already know you love God. I love God. You love God. We love God. I love God. Up, I love me some God. That's why we up in here. But be more sp specific to your life. What mm -hmm. is going on in your life? What did God do for you? What is he doing for you on a daily basis? That makes you so grateful that mm. you're here, you know, because uh, we know we love God. We got that. We got it. Mm -hmm. Now, what? I mean, like, I love him because he gave me that beer. Mm. He gave me that beer. So that beer sex. That's my sexy beer. <laughs> then he gave me a decent face where I can get rid of that beer, and the face still okay. <laughs> uh, he gave me a bald head, but it's shaped right. You ever see people crisp with the lumps yeah. on the head? Oh, the head especially like in the back. Yeah. yeah, and they can't help it because they got to cut their hair. Otherwise, they had that bozo the clown thing <laughs> where the hair just go around the side, you know? Yeah. All of these little things are blessings. What are you little things. I'm grateful for my movie. Okay. Oh yeah. 16th of December, my movie coming out. I've been in plenty of movies. I ain't never been the star. Always wow. been a star. So yeah. there's so much to be grateful for. So we're going to be asking you tomorrow. We're celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow. We're not here Thanksgiving Day. I'm going to be in here with Kelly. I, baby, we might have to get the artificial tree. We weren't looking for an <laughs> artificial tree. Yes, dear? Why are you raising your hand? Artificial. They can't see you raising your hand. What, what's going on? Oh, I just so saw this people who yeah. want to enter the I Love My Job, you said to send in your information, but you didn't say where to send it to. Because we posted. Oh, okay. Kelly said, y'all hear <laughs> she said, we, we tell people the, I, right. the, the do I love my job. We ain't able to send it to where we post that when we say it. This, this is an organization over here. It, ain't just me. <laughs> it used to be just me at the kitchen table, but it's a group of people over here now. Um, what was I saying before she started raising her hand? Um, like she was things you're grateful for. <laughs> things you're grateful for. Be grateful for something more specific and not something generic. I know, no, you'll be uh, grateful for something generic too, but we want to hear it. We want to hear <laughs> your specifics about you. What do you do for you? How, yeah. how do he touch you, Slick, out of DC? How do he touch you, Krenna, Smiley? What do he do for you, Golden mm -hmm. Girl? I love Golden Girl. I love Golden Girl. When I do my next class, you definitely got to be in it. Uh, uh, Angel, oh, Angel, the incense lady is here. That's who he's talking about in that thing when, that won, when they won that contest. Yes, yes. <laughs> No, baby, hand me that, the picture under there. The, the angel, her other picture. It should be behind that. Door. Yes. Hey, angel, the incense lady helm. How we will, are you? We will be part of the thing of what you'll win. Oh, the package wow. tomorrow will be this hand sketching of this beautiful eagle. All eagle. Wow. And actually, you could honor it like it is by yeah. putting it in a nice frame and putting it somewhere. Or yeah. you could color it in yourself if you want to. It's yours. You do what you want to do with your own stuff. Right. Angel's on right now. Wait, where is Angel? She put in. something up too. She she threw something up a minute ago. Where you at, Miss Angel? Orange Dreamsicle. I, I think. Angel, I'm the orange, incense lady. I love God, and I am God in manifestation. There it is. So that's what I want to know. I want to nice. know what specifically you are thrilled about tomorrow. Though when we do, I love my job. We're gonna be giving away that artwork. We'll give away incense and oils. We'll give away money. We'll give away the whole love nice package. Packages with incense. 
Kelly said, look how nice he packages. Like oh, this. nice. Can you smell that? Can you smell that? Can you... Oh, wow. Where Chris, it smells where Chris at? I want Chris to have a chance to smell it. Can you smell it, Chris? Oh, yeah. it smells that nice? It's yeah. incensey, incensey. Yeah, nice. Mm. Okay. And when you're smoking a fat one, you know, <laughs> you want to have the, in the air in your house nice and, and sensitive. Like, yeah. Okay, anyway, Neutral. all that's going to be happening. To, <laughs> I'm excited about tomorrow's show. Yes. And I want to ask a personal favor. I want everybody here to contact 10 friends mm. and ask them to celebrate Thanksgiving with y'all tomorrow morning on the Mike Kai Morning Show. Tell them how to contact us. Tell them, and then they can shout it out tomorrow. We can say, how many new people came today because one of your friends brought you to share Thanksgiving? And we're going to share it <laughs> together tomorrow because I ain't going to see y'all Thanksgiving. That's when, that's when all the Christmas movies start coming out too, Chris. Yes, that's, that's right. That's when they start showing. It's right. a wonderful life. Yes. You know, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Holiday Change, ladies and gentlemen. On <laughs> what's Holiday Change? That's the Christmas movie I was in. <laughs> Really? Oh, and are you yes. the star, or is there, who's no, the star? No, who's the star? I'm, I'm star number forty-seven. You know what I mean? Oh, but who wants the star? How did they change? Miguel Nunez. <laughs> are you serious? No, Miguel Nunez Jr. You're really talk. I was first assistant director. I have a little small role. I play. I actually do play a cop. Uh, wow. It was like Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris, come on, do this. Play this role. <laughs> well, we had, we had Nunez on uh, and. Uh, let me tell you, Miguel Nunez was so great. I'm just showing y'all Lori again because she's going to be saying yes, about Yes, Miguel Nunez was so great that he's going to shift over and come back and do my superstar interview because I need nice. 30 minutes with him. Yes. Yeah, I can't talk to him for 10 minutes. He got so much stuff going yes. on. So that's your favorite movie. My favorite movie is called Holiday Heartbreak. It comes out <laughs> December 16th on BET and BET Her. Yes. But no, my all-time favorite movie up until my new one is It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. I cannot do Christmas. Without it's a wonderful life. If I don't see that, Christmas hasn't happened for me. Really? Gotta see that. Oh, gotta mm. see that one. Love to see Elf. Elf is so funny. It's so Elf. You don't know, you don't know Elf with Will. What's yeah, Will's yeah, yeah. name? Will uh, Farrell. Farrell. Yeah. Will, Will Farrell is a big old Elf. Yeah, lovely movie. Not my favorite though. Oh um, my god, I love that movie. And with the big, what my brother's name, the comedian with the big old head, he'll start a fight. Uh, he's on love. <laughs> when Faison Love is the manager, and then he comes in, and they got a Santa Claus who have been, yeah. and, and and Elf comes in and say, "Yeah, hey, you're not Santa Claus. I've you never watched like, it all the way you, you, Oh, that's a come you don't realize. That's a come you don't embrace it. You got to really, see Elf. You will love really? I guarantee you will love it. It is such a wonderful story. And and Elf, real quick, and I swear after this, we're, we're going to get to yeah. Dawn. Dawn, <laughs> Dawn, wait, sweet. look at Dawn. Dawn, uh-uh, she's stretching. Dawn doing stretches and stuff, getting ready for us, okay? And Elf, this Elf is not really an Elf. He's yeah. a regular person, but he was put in the orphanage, and Santa Claus adopts him. So he's in the North Pole growing up with all the other Elves, except he's six foot three. And they little bitty Elves, he don't know why. He don't care why. <laughs> but his father, his, but Santa tells him the story about, you know, how his dad and mom had to move on without him. Wow. So he takes off from the North Pole to come to New York to find his father. Yeah. So imagine... A elf, a guy that's six foot four, but he has the innocence of a six year old. Oh. And you know, and, and he's looking for his dad doing goofy, silly stuff that you would do if you were six. Like he'd take a piece of gum, he'll pick a piece of gum off the railing of a store and try. Oh, it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's so hilarious. And then Faison Love works in the department store that he's oh, working gotcha. in, right? There's a Santa Claus there, and Elf lives with Santa Claus. <laughs> So he know this ain't Santa Claus. He says, who are you? And guy says, I'm Santa Claus. Buzz off. He said, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You smell like salami and cheese. <laughs> you know, it's, so, it's so good. So anyway, that's those, those like my top two. It's a Wonderful Life, Elf, and A Christmas Carol. There's 36 versions of It's a Christmas Carol. Oh, but the one with Alistair Sims really? is my favorite. Alice said, oh, it's it's so it's such a wonderful story because it's it's just it's it's like somebody tell you about your past, the present, and the future of your mm. life. And if you could see that for real, you probably buck up and fly Straighten right. Up and fly right. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straighten up and fly <laughs> right. Thank you. Well, I don't know where the hell I get buck up from. That's another dollar. <laughs> okay, I've really been stretching like this. 
<laughs> to put off this butt whooping we about to get in this workout. So let's go ahead and bring her on right now, y'all. We about to build it up and make it firm. We invite you guys to walk over to your living room or wherever you exercise at. Set your camera up there so you can physically do these exercises with us. And please, people, no giggling. <laughs> Dawn Strozier, ladies and gentlemen, is here today. Where you at, Dawn? Yay, Dawn! <laughs> Oh no, sleep on the sleep on the stove. <laughs> I love you. You so look much. so good. Look at you in that black outfit, lean up your I chest. really feel like you were stalling to get this workout today because somebody told you we was doing burpees. <laughs> oh my god. What burpees at 50. We doing burpees today, baby. Burpees. And I really feel like you were stalling. I love you heard burpees. Today. I'm glad you left. We're doing burpees do today. We're about to do some burpees. She's not but talking listen. about burping from a soda. She's talking about an exercise. <laughs> I love burpees. They're difficult, but I love them. How many will we end right. up doing? How many? About about 25. Okay. I'm walking toward okay, the living listen. room. I'm gonna right say this now. before you move. Before don't leave, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Because we have to talk for a second. Because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes. And I want to say to, to, to our listening audience and our viewers, our YouTube viewers, that one of the biggest mistakes we make is that we overeat. We Our portion sizes are out of control. And one of the ways that you can enjoy the holidays tomorrow without putting on any pounds is to simply watch your portion sizes. And um, as sad as it is I'm gonna go that out we and come can back. fellowship the way we'd like to because of the pandemic, it'll give us an opportunity to cook differently. You don't have to cook such big meals you can cook based on the number of people in your household and because i'm quarantining by myself mm -hmm. and chris is by himself i'm not sure hey ebony i'm not sure if ebony is by herself or not but you can make smaller portion sizes and you can make healthier dishes you can experiment this year try something new now i i, do, I no longer eat the traditional thanksgiving dinner for one because i'm uh, over 55. yes you <laughs> oh. are <laughs> Actually, no, I'm 50. I'm 50, but I'll be 51 in March. So, um, and uh, my husband is on his way, and um, I gotta keep it tight, keep it right, so that he can see me from afar. I so that is why it. I no longer eat the traditional <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. I just, I, I just can't hear nothing you saying because it's fluttering, fluttering. I went out and came right. back, and it's still just fluttering. Yeah, it's um, gonna, it's gonna clear itself up, Mike. It'll clear up. Could, could, I, do, could, I should put it on my cell phone? No, it'll clear up. It'll clear up. It's Were you guys able clear? to hear me? I can hear uh, good now. So I okay. say everything okay. you said all over. Okay, okay. So because, <laughs> let me give you the smaller version. Let me give you a smaller version, Michael. We're practicing this year. I'm going to encourage everyone to practice making smaller portion sizes since you can only celebrate the holiday, uh, Thanksgiving holiday with your family in your household because we're quarantining, make smaller portion sizes. One of the biggest mistakes we make is that we overeat. We do, let's say for instance, red beans and rice. We have one full portion of red beans and one full portion of rice. When what we should do is have one portion of size of carbohydrates. Mm. One portion size of carbohydrates is a clenched fist or the palm of your hand. So a clenched fist, half red beans and half rice, one uh, portion and you're not overeating. So I wanna encourage you to okay. watch your portion sizes and I do want to encourage you to enjoy and eat. So, because I'm quarantining by myself, my portion size is one family. One, one of my favorite dishes used to be yams. Um, mm. I used to love yams. But guess what? There's a healthier way for you to make yams. You don't have to make yams with brown sugar. You can simply add some marshmallows throughout. And oh. it adds a nice sweet little taste. Because remember, the yam itself mm. is very, very sweet. Yeah. You, can use, you can also use regular butter because your body actually burns through butter, um, good fats better than it burns through carbohydrates. So nutmeg and mm -hmm. vanilla, a little bit of vanilla was mm -hmm. all the ingredients I added to my yam. And guess what? Perfect portion oh. size for Dawn. Let's see. Because my husband needs to know that I can cook. Perfect portion size for me. Ooh. Nice. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't that cute? That I'm looks good. I'm going to put a couple of more of these on the top. Put, put yeah. them close to the camera. Bring okay. them close to the camera. Hold on a second. Let me get another so I don't I burn wanna, I gotta my hand. Close up. Okay. These are, these are the yams that were perfectly portioned. That's only one yam. Yeah. Only one yam. That ain't no one yam. 
Where yes, you get is. that big old double meat inside <laughs> there from? What kind that's, of fertilizer are they using to make that one yam? That's the one yam. Yeah, yeah come in different sizes. Look at that. That's one yam. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you can't, you're not supposed to eat that whole yam by no, yourself. No, I'm not going to eat that whole, but that's one point. That's one yam. So I'm saying that wow. could probably... That could probably feed two people, or if I was a little heavier, it'd be a nice size for me myself. Right. So practice the whole point of the story is practice your portion sizes over the holiday season. Don't make your meal so big. But please enjoy. Enjoy your family and give God thanks for his faithfulness because he is good. Woo, woo, woo. Amen. Woo, woo, woo. That's right. Amen. 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 So let's split the screen into three and put her in the middle. Okay. There's no way to split. It's four of us. Oh. Oh, no. you working out too? I'm a workout. Oh, <laughs> all right. Chris. Wait a minute. I got to show off my. Okay, I, I need to see Chris because Chris is going to do the low impact wall for me. Yes. Right. Okay. Um, so I Sorry. need you guys to get a chance. Uh, do me a favor. Give me, give me me in the middle for a second so I can demonstrate and everybody can see me fully while I demonstrate the uh, exercises. Oh, sorry. Give me three in the middle. Give me Chris for one second because he's going to do low impact. All right, can you guys see my chair? Um, yes. I want them to be able to see my legs. If, I, if, if you do the, okay, they can see, well, they can't because of my name. All right, well, we'll do the best that we can. All right, so we are, Michael, I need you to get, I need you to get a chair. A chair. Uh, have you, when was the last time you've done a burpee, Michael? Uh, I about five minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> Ebony, Ebony, don't worry, we're bringing you back on in one second, on. okay? Okay, we're no going to just demonstrate. Wait a minute. No Wait. Yes. Hold up. So, burpee. Hands up, down. Exercise. One push. And up, down. Exercise. Okay, stop a second. Stop a second, Michael. Stop a second. Is that stop a second. That is a burpee, and that was absolutely outstanding. We're going to do the over. We're going to do the over fifty and fit version because I want you to. I want to. Um, wait, I wait, want to. Wait. How come Chris did this? <laughs> <laughs> I want to protect your knees. Oh, I want yes, to protect yes, your yes. knees. And okay. I want to um I want to appeal to the audience that I believe is watching you. So here we go. We're gonna right. do, I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate this a couple times first. So you guys just watch. Okay. This is a chair burpee. Is it can you remove my name for a second or no? Okay. Let me let me tilt this. Here we go. So chair burpee, low impact. We're gonna squat for a second. We're gonna kick out to play. Make sure our shoulders and wrists are aligned. We're gonna come back to a squat and throw our arms up with a little hop. So a squat, kick out to a plank, come back to a squat and hop. Squat. Okay, so that is on the chair. Let me keep going. If that's too low, you can do it on the kitchen counter. But you have to incorporate burpees into your into your um into your regimen. One of the best full body exercises on the planet. Kelly, uh, Kelly, so, here we go. You should do it on the kitchen counter. No, 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 no. You're gonna do it on the floor because you can do it. I'm just showing different versions. So the chair is lower. No, Chris, I, you meant, do I meant we could do it on the kitchen <laughs> counter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's okay. getting ready for his Thanksgiving vacation. I'm sorry. Michael, <laughs> that was really cute. So, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying not to say anything because I am, you know, hi, husband, waiting for hi. my, you know, uh, Okay, so here we go. On the, the counter, only way too. here's the counter. I still want you to do white lace because white lace protect your knees. Give me a squat, kick back to a plank, straighten yourself out. See that slight, see that slight lean that I have there? Nice. Come back to a squat. Throw your arms up. That's on the kitchen counter. Okay, okay. now if you need a lower impact, watch this. Lower impact, same move. Squat. Kick out. One, two. Come back. One, two to a squat. Throw your arms up. Come back to a plank. Come back to a squat. Throw your arms up. Throw your arms up. There you go. All right, now for you, for you, 50, but really 28 people. Michael, are you ready? We're going to do high impact? Oh, uh, yeah. We got 71 people. This one's our biggest crowd today. Your legs are going to be wide. Michael, I want you to have wide legs. You can give me Michael. Put Michael on the screen. I got wide legs. Wide legs, okay? 
Wide legs. You're gonna put your hands down. We're gonna start down and not up. Put your hands down in between your legs, Michael. Okay. Now this is where you this is where your lower ab work comes in. Kick out to a strong plank. Come back up to a squat. Power it out. So, uh, so right. I'm doing that on the floor. Yes, you're gonna do. You're gonna I'm be not, not gonna do it on the floor. Nope, but I want you to do wide legs. Open your legs. Wide your legs. legs. Here. No, me, look, look. I want your hands in between both of your legs. Yeah. Both feet. Yeah. Good. You're here. Kick out to a strong plank. Come back up where you started. Good. Now, Paula. Good. Now, perfect. Now, what I want you to do, Michael, is this. Watch me again. Watch my. Watch me from the side. My legs are gonna. Let me let me tilt this a little bit more. My my um. My legs and my feet and hands are gonna stay in the same space. Kick out to a strong plank. Come back up. Look at where my legs came. Okay. Look at my look at my knees and ankles. Okay. My, I see. You can't see my toes, but my knees are not rolling over my toes. This is okay. how you protect yourself for longevity. I'm not like this. Oh, okay. I'm sitting back in my heels. Okay. And my knees and ankles are in line. Okay. All right. So take some work. But so, you can do so it. So do one. Do one because I want to see if you jump up there too. What do you do? You start with your feet between your legs. Yes. I mean, your hands between plank. your legs. You you throw out, come back, and then jump up. Okay. And when you're jumping up, the legs are out. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. But you can do four more of oh. them. I ain't mad at you. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Yes. So where you, where you at, where you at Ebony? I wasn't leaving I'm, you out. I'm, there we go. I'm right. Oh, no. I'm, look, I'm watching. Okay. Uh -oh. um, what what did you say, Ebony? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Chris, you're gonna do the wall for me. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, oh no, perfect. No, stay there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Ebony. Can I use can my you? windowsill? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> no, Ebony, can you do the wall? I know. Can I have you a do window I have a windowsill. I have a I don't have a wall. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Do your windowsill. She don't have a wall. She live in a home without walls. Yeah, I live in the Wallace home. <laughs> okay. So for our listening, for our viewing audience, you can always use a wall and start there. Then go lower. How, right, many, so how many? How many? We do the first time. Let's try. Let's go for five. Okay. I need to watch your phone first. You guys go. I'm gonna watch you. Okay. So okay. Is it better for you if I do it this way or this way? Um. That way, that way's better. Okay. The way you are now. But start okay. standing up. Everybody start standing up. Did you hit your head? Yeah. <laughs> stand, Michael, stand up for me. Remember, you're going to, Chris, wide legs. Room. Do it on the floor then. Do it on the floor. You got room. Back up. Do it on the floor. Yeah. Um, uh, um, uh, Chris, remember, you're starting to squat. The first move is a squat. Squatting down. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? And go. One. Kick out. Squat. Oh, jump up. Good. Two. Come on. <clears throat> Throw your arms up, Chris. Throw your arms up to the end. Oh, Good. Put your hands down. Kick out. Come back to a squat. Throw your arms up. Good. Put your hands down. Kick out to a squat. Throw your arms up. Come on. Good job. Do me a favor, Chris. Michael, right. excellent job. Good job, Ebony. That, that was Chris, fun. Now, Chris, and you have the ability to give me a small little hop at the end. Give me two more. And okay. Then hop. Kick out. Okay. Come back to squat. Good. Okay, now, Chris. Yes. On, on the end squat, I need you to release your knees. Don't go. That's jamming your cartilage. I want you to go. See how soft I'm in? Bend your knees. Gotcha. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Squat. Kick out to a plate. Come back up to a squat. Throw your arms up. There you go. Perfect. You let it smooth. Yeah, One last perfect. thing. When you kick out to that plank, straighten your arms out. So when you go out to a plank, look. Straighten your oh, arms out. Good. Now come back to a squat. White legs. Throw your arms up. Land. Good. That's perfect. right. Grab your five-pound weight. Grab your five-pound weight. Okay. Uh, five pound. Hey, mama. Did you move those five-pound weights? <laughs> get your water, get your water jugs, Chris. Yes, ma'am. Happy do you have weights? If you don't have weights, get, get water bottles. I don't see the five pound weights. That's fine. Get any kind of weights. I might have to do the 10. 
Well, I can't get them. I'm down here. Okay, I'm gonna do it with 10. Okay, stand up straight. Okay. Put your arms here. Feet shoulder apart. We're squatting down. Elbows in front. Coming simultaneous to a press. Back down. Number two. Come on. Push it up. Number three. Come on. Push it up. Number four. Come on. Push it up. Number five. Come on. Push it up. Number six. Come on. Push it up. Come on, Michael. Number seven. Push it up. Come on, Ebony. Number eight. Push it up. Number nine. Come on, Chris. Number Woo. ten. We got five more. Press it. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Two. One more. One. Good job. Woo. Woo. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I'm I was, sick, like, hey, Michael, most, guess what? I was yeah. told I could take as long as I want because we just had more time. <laughs> <laughs> You're we're, right. We're, we're doing big moves because as this Thanksgiving dinner, we want a workout that's going to help us run off the calories. So we got burpees. We have squat press. Kay. We're going to do what's called squat jumps. Oh. Okay. Squat jump. Squat, power up. 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 Squat. Okay, I can make it harder. Hold on. Uh uh. <laughs> you good? You good right there? Yeah. Here we go. Give me fifteen. Let's do it. Wait, hey, where we start? One. Squat. Here. Yes. Perfect, Michael. Ebony, make sure when you squat, you're sitting back like you're sitting on you're the right, floor. You're right, Rosemary. Lift those. Okay. Lift those toes off the ground. What did Rosemary say? So it's like we sitting back. <laughs> what yes. did Rosemary say? <laughs> yes, here we go. We got 15. You ready? No. Get back in your heels. Okay. Power it out. And go. 15. Come on. 14. Come on. 13. Come on. 12. 11. Come on. 10. 9. 8. Woo! 7. Come on. 6. Come on, Abney. 5. Come on. 4. Push it. 3. Push it. Two, one more. Great job. You get oh. those around. Yeah. Okay. I, I quit. I quit no. halfway through. Can't quit yet. We're going to do everything all the way through. Oh, one good. One exercise after another. Catch your breath, get some water. Okay. And we're going to push it. I'm going to change the order, though. We're going to do 15 squat, press it up. We're going to do five burpees. We're going to finish with squat jumps, okay? Squat jumps. Okay. Get some All water. Right. I'm glad you're wearing black because most Dominic <laughs> like to wear all black. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where we start? Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Which one we start with? He said. <laughs> oh gosh. Hilarious. No, that is not who I am. No, and you look so good in the black outfit, though. That is awesome. Really? And you're 50 little, even? Yes, I, I, I was a little upset because my gray started showing through. I got a guy that's gray. We can't, we can't do that because they... You better you know. get you some just for men. Yes. <laughs> 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 like Rudy wait, Giuliani. Wait, look at this dog. <laughs> this dog came in here to watch me, look. <laughs> he's just sitting there. He's like, right? he's hey, just, he's everybody he's is on the floor. Why is everybody he's on the floor? Are we what playing? he said was, why is the floor shaking like that? That's what he said. <laughs> 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 All right, that's too much rest now. Let's get back to it before we, we cool down. Grab, grab your weight. The weight's All right, first. you ready? Yep, squat press it up. Okay. You said get back to it. Let's do it. Squat press, arms right here. 15 Wait, straight, no stop. Your arms are. Okay, all right. All right, so squat press. We're going straight to five burpees and we're going straight to squat jumps. Here we go, and 15, press it up. 14, come on. 13, press. 12, 11, 10, come on. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one more, one. Put your waist down. Let's hit it. Five burpees, let's go. White legs, let's do 
Six. What are we doing now? Five. Burpees. 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 Come on. <clears throat> Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my God. Come on, Michael. You said let's do it. You said let's do it. 15 squat jumps. Let's go. Here we go. What's the last 15. one? Squat jumps. Okay. Let's go. 15. Come on. 15. Oh, 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Michael. Come yeah. on. We oh. stop. We're waiting on you. we wait waiting on more. you. Come on. Five more. Just five Wait, more. Okay. Last five. Five. Come on. Five. One. Four. Two. Three. Three. Two. Two. One more, Michael. One. Woo! Nobody left behind. That's awesome. Okay. So, Emily, you can go and finish this little show. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh my lord. Uh, did she? Uh, so listen that guys, was really that was good, Dawn. That was awesome. Ideally, I'm that everywhere. I would like for you to on Friday morning wake up early. Wake okay. up at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Get that metabolism moving faster. Okay. And let's do these three exercises. Five rounds. Okay. Work up, work up to Eddie. I'm sorry, three rounds. Okay. Work up to Eddie. Five more reps each round of burpees. So the first round, you do five, five reps. The second round of burpees, you do 10. The last round, push yourself. Okay. And let's do 15. Okay. Wow. Or, you, or you can go backwards, 15. Everything's 15, the second round. Uh, the burpees only 10. The last round, the burpees only five. Everything else stays 15. All right? Uh, there's something so kind of noble about dying right after you finish working out. <laughs> I love oh, this I guy. Am out. Chris, do you feel it? Yeah, sure. I feel it in my thighs. Oh, my thighs are burning. My neck, my back, my arms. No, I'm kidding. Hey. <laughs> Chris is smiling. Yeah. Can it you bring good. that yam back? Kelly, yeah. can you come look at the size of the dog on yam? But she look, a yam. Look, the size no. of a football, and she claimed. No. Come closer, Don. I pop. Remember, pieces are piled on top of each other. Okay, look that's, that's one yam. Pieces are piled. Look at the small serving size. Yeah, I got pieces one laid, yam. purposely laid on top of each other. Oh, uh, yeah. Delicious. It's a big yam because I want you to see it. Uh huh. And what what you say you put in a marshmallow and what else? I put a marshmallow for my sugar. I didn't use brown sugar. I didn't use white sugar. I just used the marshmallow all throughout. It helped add the sweet taste. Because remember, yams are already sweet. Yeah. They're one of the okay. healthiest things you can eat. That's so true. I also put in the nutmeg, right? Nutmeg. I also put in the uh, vanilla abstract. Okay. And I also use regular, if you can find grass feed butter, it's even better. Regular butter, because your body can Wait, use butter as what fuel. What kind of butter? Regular but grass fed butter. Grass fed. Yeah, okay, grass fed grass butter. butter. Regular, okay. um, your body can use that as fuel instead of carbohydrates. So okay. it's healthy. It's a healthier version yes. of a Thanksgiving treat. So I'm going to look for that today. So in okay. making my bread, I'm going to use grass-fed butter. Yes. I know yes. I can go to like one of these. Can we go to like Trader Joe might have that, right? But you don't uh -huh. make bread with butter. She but said you don't make but bread with butter. You don't put butter in bread? Put it on the bread. On, on the top, bread. on the bread. Yeah, you don't Ebony, mix it. Ebony, she claims she bakes bread. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. I love Ebony, your segment. You yeah. don't I gotta get butter some in making your bread? No. <laughs> All right, okay. But you can put it I on top of the bread. bread. I want butter and everything. So <laughs> and some brown sugar. And butter. I put that on uh. everything. I put that on the peanut butter and jelly oh, sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm wow. thankful. I'm thankful to be a part of your show. Oh, I'm thankful for wow. you guys choosing me to, to bring so much joy and laughter and also help the world uh, take better care of their health because I love the way health feels. 
Hmm. You know, and you and inspire uh, me. When I look you. at you and how fit you are and how your energy is yeah. through the sky, that's thank what you. I want to do. I want to lose this weight and get mm -hmm. the back that kind of energy where I could go, go, go. Because I got a lot to do. And I'm I actually do it if I'm sluggish. I actually do think you have my energy. You do naturally <laughs> have this guy. Oh, yeah, you do. And Chris does as well. We just need to we just need to get you guys making better life choices so you can be around for years doing what God's called you to do. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. You share the ministry of laughter to people. You bring so much laughter. I didn't think my segment was going to be funny, but it started <laughs> off with you. It started it off with you. Let me Sorry. tell you, it was not funny. <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> I know I'm finishing my show from right here on the floor. I, <laughs> I love you guys. Woo -woo -woo. We love you. Thank you so much. You yes, Dawn Strozier, y'all. You can find her at Dawn Strozier on all media forms, all right? All social media, yes. Hey, look, I got a journal that I hope to talk to you about soon. I have a journal uh, that is coming out. I I'm also doing a fitness vision board. Whoa. You coming out? I have a journal. A oh, fit to win. It's okay. called Fit to Win Journal. I have a book coming out called Fit to Win. I have another book coming out called Winners Win. Um, I'm truly excited about my winning platform. But I want to talk to you about my fitness vision board party that hey. I do every year. How how soon do you want to do that? Uh, whenever you um have time. Ebony, how about how about find a space for her somewhere the first week after we come back from Thanksgiving? I'll call you, Don. Okay, so we will call you uh, like tomorrow and we'll set you up. So the week after Thanksgiving, we come back and you just come on and talk to us a different day than yes. the workout. So let's okay. try to bring you like a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. You okay. weigh us out on Tuesday. We'll stagger mm -hmm. in on Wednesday. You can tell us <laughs> about the journal, then beat us up some more on Thursday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. We love wow. you so much. We love you too. Georgia. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you, Don. You work out you with too. us and you in pain. Just know you at the Michael Kaya morning show. <laughs> this is where we laugh sometimes, but we mostly cry. That's right. Don oh, my God. Great personality. She great is. everything, you know? Yes. Oh, my God. Well, let's start saying goodbye to these people because I ain't getting them off this low. <laughs> Never well, made me help. I've worked out, and I can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, pretty wow. Good. That's pretty good. Oh, Angela she Porter. Ten, wow. Hey, Ida May. <laughs> Where's Ida like May? Victory. Ida May. You know Ida May? Who is that? I, oh, a hilarious comedian. Oh, my God. So, She's so funny. She is in here. Yes. <laughs> Ida May Jenkins. Yeah. Oh, my wow. God. Hey, Miss Purple. Hey, everybody. Just remember, tomorrow is our big 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 show it we're gonna be doing big, 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 bread big, big, big competitions we're gonna be hanging out we're yeah. gonna be talking about thanksgiving and christmas and uh we got seven different comedians coming on so it's gonna be tons of laughter That's we're gonna right. have all kind of prayer in there uh-huh uh, we're gonna do giveaways we know we're doing at least the things that angel has uh that sent us we're gonna have love package we're gonna also have uh, i love my job i love my job i love my job <laughs> And we're going to talk about things that we're thankful for tomorrow. That's right. Because talking about a thing generates that thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the whole universe is about the vibrations. You know, yeah. what are the vibrations? You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I said, people talk about the word, the world has, uh, the universe has cursed me or the universe has blessed me mm. and the universe does neither one. The universe responds to your vibrations. Mm. And we're going to be talking about those vibrations tomorrow. What vibrations are you sending out? Are you having vibrations of prosperity? Then you're about to get that paper. You know what I'm saying? If you're having uh, uh, vibrations about love making, you're going to do that massage. Mm. Uh, you can get you some watermelon. So at any rate, uh, tomorrow, we're just going to talk about love and life and the things we are grateful for. I am grateful that that fool with the orange hair has finally stepped back and said, okay, I'm not going to mess with y'all no more. Get that man his transition money. And now <laughs> Biden is sliding on into the space. We have a lot to be grateful for. Thank you, Ebony. You came to tell us to get off. No, I was just coming on listening to you. Oh, you look really we, good too, girl. Already done going. Yeah, I had um, E-Baby talking about my legs. I'm gonna get you, E baby. Don't <laughs> let the legs fool you. Like, oh wow, those are fighting words. I mean, just three days ago, you was on your deathbed. I know. <laughs> I have no energy. I lost so much weight too from not eating. So. Oh god. Yeah. Oh lord. 
All I know is I'm gonna be yeah. on the floor for a long time after the show is over today. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl into the kitchen and get a glass make, of water. We yes, yes. We're gonna make E Baby uh, come on and work out with us. He 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 got jokes. Oh yeah, but he a little old thin guy though. So he it's can handle it. He ain't a thickums, so it ain't gonna be no hard work. No. You know, <laughs> right. um, so everybody, well, I don't know what guys. announcements. I don't want to miss any of the announcements. Uh, I do know I want to remind y'all tomorrow, six o'clock. Make sure you tune in and watch me interview the producer who yes. produced on December 16th comes out, Holiday Heartbreak. Make sure that you uh that you subscribe to this channel, to my YouTube channel, and please invite 10 people. At least 10. Let's see who can get the most people to show up tomorrow and say, oh, I can't call Betty Ebele. E called me. I called her. Angela told me to come. Uh, uh, Angela, <laughs> the incense lady said, come by. I might win a fly. I might win a, a bird picture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, what kind of bird is that? <laughs> what's a watch party? They can invite people on from Facebook and a watch party. Oh, yeah. Watch she party. said y'all can do a watch party. A but watch party. I'm technically retarded. And I don't know what none of that means. I, I told y'all I'm about to rent a teenager just so I can figure some things out, you know? But she said a watch party. Y'all can do a watch party. I thought that meant everybody get butt naked and they only wear a watch. And they, um, <laughs> no. Okay. No, no anyway, not at all. Uh, right. Hey, what stuff y'all want to tell them before y'all get out of here? <sighs> we don't have anything else. See you tomorrow. All right. Then I'm going to get a uh, maybe an artificial Christmas tree. Cause I want my Christmas tree up in time for Thanksgiving. We had the people come in and do the carpets yesterday, so the house all fresh. And I, I'm feeling holiday-ish. <laughs> this is nice. a great show, Chris. Thank you. Yes, sir. It was great, a great show. Great show, great show, Ebony. And yes. uh, don't forget tomorrow. I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. If your phone ring, don't you pick no. up with oh. Yeah, oh, all right. Man. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello, I'm, I'm trying to drink. Happy Thanksgiving. That's right. Don't do it. Don't do it. We have worked until my battery got low. All right. I love y'all. I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Have a super califragilist, expialidocious kind of day. Let no one steal your rainbow. And remember, life is a garden if you dig it. See ya. Bye.